What's up everybody? Looks like it's time for an update on the OnePlus Nord. And after a lot of patience and wait, and to be frank it feels really good while covering the updates on this device, as it still doesn't have that hybrid oxy color OS. So on that note, here we have it, the Oxygen OS 11.1.5.5 update for the OnePlus Nord. And this one doesn't have a big list of changelog, but I see a couple of new features. And surprisingly, the Bitmoji AOD has made its way onto the older device. Pretty sure this hasn't happened much in past, but that's a good thing, since many of you were waiting for this one. Anyways, without any further delay, let's have an in-depth look like always, and let's find out how things look as of now, also if there are any improvements or not. Before we go ahead, make sure to tap on that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest videos and content from this channel. Now to get this update on your device, you can simply check in system updates in setting after some days or so, as these rollouts take some time. If you cannot wait, then Oxygen updated application is the way to go, and it is totally safe, though you should wait for the full review of this update, and that will be coming out really soon. The size of OTA is around 424 MB. Okay, now that I'm done installing the update, it's time to compare the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the previous version used to score 599 in single core and 1838 in the multi-core score. And now after the update, the score is 599 in single core and 1811 in the multi-core score. So not a big change, but it seems like the performance is almost same with this version, at least on paper. Now let's come back to the changelog and have a look at it. First up we have the August 21 security patch, which is always good to see. Apart from that in the system part, we have the usual improved system stability line. So I'll be thoroughly checking out the overall stability, BGMI performance and the camera performance too in the next couple of days. And I'll let you know about the overall stability in the second part of this video. Till then, stay tuned for it. Apart from the above two changes, we have something more. First up, we finally have an FPS counter and that data monitor tab from the OnePlus devices. Though this wasn't mentioned in the changelog, but yeah, it's good to see it now as we can keep a track of the performance while gaming. And that is something I wanted to see from a long time. Also the ambient display has two new features now, which I did not expect. The first one is the screenshot feature for AOD. So for those of you who wish to share a screenshot of their always on display lock screens, well this might be handy for you. Though I never used it on other devices and it might be useful for you, who knows. Lastly, the second feature that has been introduced is this Bitmoji AOD. And this one was unexpected, but you can now have the personalized Bitmoji on your AOD. So to set up the Bitmoji AOD, all you have to do is go to settings, now go to customizations, and here click on the clock on ambient display option. Choose that second Bitmoji AOD and tap on OK. And it will ask you to download the Bitmoji APK from Play Store. So tap on this get it on Google Play button and download the APK simply. Now you can create your own avatar and customize it as per your taste and liking. And after everything is done, just tap on save and it will ask to download the stickers for AOD as the application has to work offline to show you new stickers every time. So choose mobile data or Wi-Fi, whatever you want and give it a few minutes. Now whenever you will lock your phone, you will see this Bitmoji stickers as your AOD and they'll keep changing from time to time. Also I'll be checking the battery drain with this enabled and the general stats too, so that you can get an idea if you should use this feature or not. The camera application has no changes and the version is exact same as with the last update. Overall this update seems interesting because at least we have something new this time around, as we get some important stuff like that FPS counter option. Anyway stay tuned for the full review of this update and make sure to tap on that subscribe button and like this video if it helps you out. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.